What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Elliot Delp. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Primary Arms SLX MD25 Red Dot. So it should be a good little video, so let's get right into it. So, like I said before the intro rolled, we're going to be doing a review on this Primary Arms SLX MD25 Red Dot. And uh, before we get into really talking about the specs and how it performed and whatnot, I would like to say thank you to Primary Arms. Uh, they sent this out to the channel for testing and review, both this and the magnifier. So, a uh, big shout out to them. And if you want to pick this Red Dot up or this magnifier up, I would really recommend you checking out my website. So links down below, take someoneoutdoors.com forward slash links. Um, and there it'll take you to kind of my link tree. It's not really a link tree because link tree doesn't like 2A stuff. But there you can find links to everything I use and primary arms is there. So click them. Also, big shout out to Callaway Ballistics. They provided some of the ammunition that I was using while testing this thing. So uh, shout out to them. Code EDELT over at, or over at Callaway will get you uh, free shipping on $200 worth of stuff. So buying $200 worth of ammo, free shipping with code EDELT. All right, over at Cali. So without further ado, let's talk about specs of this red dot. All right, this is the SLX MD25 from Primary Arms. Um, I've done a lot of SLX stuff that's their kind of like, I would say budget line of optics. They do LPVOs and all kinds of stuff. So far, they've been pretty good, um, despite them being budget. Uh, they're pretty standard. We have a visitor. Um, go kitty. Excuse Susie. Um, and, and they're really nice optics, so that hasn't really been a problem. Um, this thing does come in at about $170, though. So it is pricier for a red dot, but some of the features, I think, might make up for it. All right? So, what do you get for it? Well, you get the optic itself, which is a three inch red dot. You get windage and um, your elevation, pretty standard stuff. You get 12 different red dot settings. So you have two for night vision and then 10 more for however bright your day is, okay? Then you get a ton of different risers. So I'll list all the different riser link or heights right here or over here. I don't know which way I'm doing it, but uh, you can really set it up for whatever you need it to be, okay? Um, you can put it on an AK, AR, AR-10, shotgun, literally anything, and it comes ready for it. Um, it's pretty simple to do. You just screw it in, and it works, all right? And who doesn't like it when it's that basic? So that's pretty much all the specs of this thing. Oh, I forgot to mention, it does have a 2 MOA dot. That's the dot size, and it is fog-proof. Then that's all the specs, all right? So, how does it perform? Well, I've had it here on this 300 Blackout, this little short pistol here, and that's what I've been doing all my testing on. This is a Palmetto. Um, it's been reviewed before. If you want to watch that, head on over to my channel. Um, but this thing did great. Zero, held zero fine. Um, the magnifier worked really, really well. Um, I know I didn't really go over the magnifier that much, but it's basically magnifier um, not nothing special 3x magnifier okay um, but the, the thing worked flawlessly it zeroed it shot great I mean I had no problems looking through it it didn't bleed over on anything the dot looks real crisp and clean I mean it's just an overall nice little red dot okay so where do I see it fitting into your gun safe um, good question I'm glad you asked this really is for everything um, except for long range shooting. If you want to go hunting with it, it'd be good for it. If you want to go CQB to mid range shooting to just plinking, having fun, I think this really does it all. I think you're getting a good high quality red dot. And I don't think, I don't think there's anything this thing can't do, especially with the magnifier, you can stretch it out a little bit further. I wouldn't say you could do long range shooting with it by any means, but it definitely, you can stretch its legs two, 300 yards ish. Um, and then I think it would work really well. So really anything but long range shooting is where I really see this fitting into the whole 
um, gun safe. Now, some complaints I have about it. It is a little pricey. $107 is a little expensive. Um, even though you do get the risers, all the different riser heights, um, I think that's it's still a little pricey for that. I say cut it down to like 150 Another problem I have with it is this thing sits, it doesn't have any shake features. So if I leave this thing sitting, um, the dock can run dead on it. And that's a problem that I have with it. But other than that, I think that it's a very good optic. And I think it's reliable. I think it's a good shooter. And I don't really think you can go wrong by picking it up. All right, if you want to pick it up, like I said, my link is in the description. It'll take you to my website. There you can click primary arms and head on over and pick this thing up. Also, Callaway Ballistics, big shout out to them. Code EDELP saves you free shipping on $200 or more of stuff, okay? Could be could be worth it with some ammo because you know how heavy ammo is. Also, big shout out to LA Police Gear. They're a super big supporter of the channel. Um, if you don't know what LA Police Gear is, they literally sell everything but firearms and ammo, tactical gear, Magpul stuff, EOTex, Vortex, you name it. E-Delp, or not E-Delp, just Delp, saves you 12% over there, so go check them out. But other than that, that's about does it. Hit the like and subscribe button. Go comment down below what you'd like to see next. Follow me on Instagram there. I do all kinds of cool stuff, and I think that about does it. See you on the next one. As always, take some outdoors. Peace.